-hmm. Hello, everybody. Nangadef. Welcome back to another episode of Pass the Mic. Today, we are joined with the one and only Skuru. Hello. How are you doing? Hey, thanks for having me. Very good. Yes. Cool. So happy to have you on the show. As we were talking about before, this has been a long time coming. You were one of the first people that I wanted to have on the mm -hmm. show, and it's happening now. So 10 out of 10. I'm super, cool. super excited to know a little bit more about you. So would you like to share a little bit more? Yeah, so uh, yeah, I'm, I'm Skuru Fichar. I mean, uh, 43 years old, not not a kid anymore. You Young. know. <laughs> so uh, this uh, musical, this musical project has has come from. Uh, it's not the the beginning, on 2016, but uh, I I I prefer to 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 consider that uh, it was like a long time ago that 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 I was building up. You know. To learn about uh, the roots, like the self-cultural identity, and to mix with the the things I was uh, I was listened at the time, because uh, even even so, my 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 mother is is from Angola and my dad is from East Cape Verde. And I was born in Portugal here, you know, in Lisbon. So of course, yeah, I have the cultural baggage cultural baggage from my family, you know with the Creole and, and Angola side, but uh, I was like in a school with uh, Portuguese, like white uh, Portuguese uh, people. So um, yeah, from the beginning, I, I used to dig in the, in the, in the, in the culture, like uh, Anglo-Saxonic stuff, you know, that everyone else was, was listening with the rock, the electronics and uh, in the, with the, uh, at the same time, in parallel, at home, you know, in the in the in the family parties, we we used to listen to a lot of uh, of uh, traditional music from from uh, from Africa, you know, Angola and Cabo Verde, Guinea, also, you know. So yeah, it's it it it, it kind of uh, grew up together, you know. Even even so, that when I was young, in my my youth, you know. I didn't like the the African stuff that my my parents listened. Oh, yeah, stupidity. But uh, then when I grew up, you know, and uh, trying to learn more uh, where where I came from, you know, from my roots, my identity, you know, I started to to really dig dig in 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 that uh, particularities of uh, African culture, you know, with uh, of course like uh, getting interesting interesting in the the social uh, issues, African social social issues, even so, like with the 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 American uh, social uh, from the sixties, you know, uh, from the revolutionary Africans, from uh, I mean, Sankara, Milcar Cabral, so and so, and then yeah, uh, I always enjoy like uh, protest music. I mean, protest art. And then uh, just uh, took took those elements and uh, trying to 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 make my own unique sound, you know. So yeah, that was the goal. I mean, it's it's still on the in the, in the process, you know. It's still development. It's not like uh, it's already done. No, it's a uh, it's a process. So it's it's more. I mean, it's me as a school Ficharu is more than a musical project, you know. It's like. A, uh anthropologic uh quest something you know so life journey yeah. music journey yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah reading sampling listening i mean uh, tasting uh, flavors i mean uh, yeah it's all 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 at once yeah. you know yeah mm -hmm. everything everywhere all at once i mean yeah. that's exciting so can you tell me a little bit more about the name Screw Fichado, like, yeah. where, like, how did you come up with this name for for the anthropological research project that it is? <laughs> yeah, I mean, Screw Fichado, it means literally it's Creole for deep dark, something like that, like a, a hard uh, dark or or the dark is coming, you know, and and it's it's actually it's an old Cape Verdean saying. Mm. I mean, yeah, it's getting dark, it's getting harder, life is getting mm. harder. It's on that uh, on that uh, meaning. And uh, there's there's like an uh, old band, an old traditional Funana band from Cape Verde, from Praia, actually, Santiago, um, that uh, they they have, um, I think, 
yeah they have like this uh, chanting and they 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 say uh, uh, it's getting darker so yeah i took that one when i listened when i was a kid you know and i forgot about it but uh, um from the beginning i thought it was a cool because i, I it was cool saying because i was uh, heavily deep into dark music heavy music on my youth you know uh so i i, I thought man if i one day i've if I finally learn to play bass, I'm going to have a band and I'm going to, to call it like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then, uh, yeah, I forgot about it. And uh, a couple of uh, years later, you know, uh, uh, some I, I hear I, I heard it again on the, on someone saying and then I said, oh, that is, that is it. Because um, I already had a song, but I didn't uh, didn't. Uh, release and then uh, oh. it did uh, it didn't have a name so it stuck you know because I'm I mean yeah I, I was always uh, on the lo-fi dark stuff you know I'm I'm really into tricky Tom Waits you know that uh, imagery mm -hmm. something that I mean it's not uh, that uh, traditional metal stuff. But it's a uh, kind of gloomy stuff, you know, enig enigmatic, related mm -hmm. to the night stuff. So almost like dark wave, gothish kind of stuff. Yeah, kind of mm -hmm. not not so gothish because it's mm -hmm. too obvious. But uh, I mm -hmm. mean, yeah, kind of. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so like, okay, your journey began like through music. You, you listen to a lot of your saying, like, kind of like Anglo, let's say, white Portuguese music. And now you're kind of deep digging into more like African, Angolan, Cape Verdean, um, Bissau music. Like, what has that what has that story been a bit more like if you could share a little bit more in depth about what that looked like? Yeah, I mean, because it, it was uh, two two sides at the at the time, at the 90s. Uh, I was born in the 80s, 80s baby, but uh, I was living in the 90s, you know, like as a youth and a uh, youngster. And um, those two, uh, it, it was all, almost like a positive. I mean, people that listen to one stuff didn't mess with the other stuff. Even nowadays, sometimes it's like this. We have a lot of conservative people on the both mm -hmm. sides, but yeah, it's very polarized, polarized. Yes, yes, for sure. And it, that 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 at the times there was no gray area, you know. Even so, my my dad listened to some Hendrix, some uh, Deep Purple stuff, you know. Uh, and my mother listened to to uh, like uh, I mean, Cock Robin. I mean, yeah, pop stuff, you know. And uh, I was tickling in the middle because I used I, I I used to listen to metal and grunge stuff you know, on my my school days exchanging tapes with with my fellow colleagues you know so I grew up uh, uh, learning about and uh, learning about one and dislike it and uh, I mean and like and learning and like another one you think you know and then uh, like in uh, ninety seven above you know. Uh, I will start to to really like uh, African stuff, like uh, real go, going hard, man. Uh, I mean, not having shame to admit. I mean, this is like, uh, of course, this is a colonial uh, uh, ship that that was planted, uh, that like tried to um, not uh, enjoying our culture or 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 even be ashamed to talk. In Creole, you know, it was it was quiet in the ninety was wild, eighty nine it was wild. I mean, if you talk Creole in the streets, I mean, in Portugal they put you on a oh you you're black, you belong to the ghetto. I mean, a lot of racism, yeah. racism, racism, you know. So uh, and now uh, from I mean now everyone you feel like wants that's over. To... <laughs> oh no! Yeah. I was gonna say I I, I no, feel like no, 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 every no. time I go to Portugal because most of the Portuguese that I know has been like Brazilian Portuguese and when uh -huh. I speak they're like oh you're Brazilian oh and I'm like oh I'm yeah not. Like, you know like I felt like people are very uh 
Yeah, nowadays. What do you think what is... happened with the guy? Was he in Azores, the football player or something that just happened? Like, was it yesterday, day before yesterday? Yeah, it was a uh, Cape Verde was killed there. Yeah, 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 I feel like it's still quite prevalent, but maybe less yes, than before. yeah, yes, yes, <laughs> but 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 Same it worse. was it was always now. Of course, like you know, all the world is turning alt right fascist ideas and try to like uh, blend in with a uh, good with the people of good, you know, the good Mm. society and still fascist. It's still fascist ideas. I mean, my neighbor is probably a fascist, uh, and uh, he talks to me every. day yeah it's like Blink yeah twice what if you need help. oh <laughs> no nah, cool no I'm, I'm in your studio but uh no what i'm what i'm saying is that uh there always been uh racism of course there's always been i mean when my father and my my mom arrived portugal it was like yeah my 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 dad was was uh he received a beating in uh When he was uh, like walking on uh, with with my mom's on the streets, he was like he, he was he went to the hospital because some Portuguese natives, yeah, some locals, yeah, beat him up. Yeah, it's crazy. But Yeah. And this now, was in Lisbon. no, it wasn't Lisbon. It wasn't on the north, like uh, Serra da Estrela. It's uh, like the biggest mountain, you know, when it snows. Uh, Yeah, but that that was in the eighties. Now the problem is we we still have a lot of racism, but the problem is is, is now uh, everyone wants to be black, but they don't want to have what it comes with. You know, it's like the the old saying: "Oh, everyone is black when the police uh, until the police is coming." So is Yeah. it the same problem? I mean, you have these like white kids trying to speak real just to look cool. You know. Uh, You have this uh, white kids just, uh, I mean, uh, bumping rap music or bumping some uh, kizomba or funana just look cool. But when the 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 the, the ships are down, I mean, uh, oh, I'm sorry, I'm not black. Let let me go home. <laughs> So like, that's the whoa, problem. whoa, whoa, just kidding. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, uh, I mean, uh, they're using nowadays. Uh, there's a uh, this cultural. Uh, I mean, here in Portugal is like a strong cultural appropriation, you know. So everyone is trying to take a little bit of this, take a little bit of that, you know, Mm -hmm. so they can learn and then they will be the 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 the, the representative of, of that uh that uh that, that thing, that cultural thing. I mean every, the music, the dance, everything, uh, even the cuisine, they learn how to do cachupa and now they open restaurants. So the <laughs> they open restaurants making cachupa Mm and they are not uh, even from the I mean A lot of stuff. -hmm. Yeah. I mean, it's not uh, the racism is not over. I mean, of course, we can we we can speak at, for a little bit, but it's still we we still are deprived of uh, of uh, a lot of things, you know. So yeah, it Yeah. was yeah, and a lot of house niggers here, man. That doesn't help, also, you know. So yeah, that's a problem. I mean, I mean we have a lot, a lot of that. Um, they validate one in the rest of the community. And they validate one for to throw they throw some crumbles to to one a and they say oh no we 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 are not racist I mean we have this one here you know here is Jamal you know so everyone I mean we have one black guy on TV so the the, the network is not racist you know so it's it's kind of stuff we're promoting Mm. There's a black one percent, guy on you. so that absolves everyone from any type Yeah, of we we have one responsibility. black guy doing movies. We have one black guy doing theaters. We had, we had uh, like these ten dudes doing music. Oh, it's okay. So it's already done. We are we have done uh, our part. So yeah, a lot Mm. of appropriate uh, uh, cultural appropriation, and uh, it's a uh, it's kind of a, a big big issue, you know. Yeah. I mean, at least around here in Portugal, and I don't know. In in other in other places in Europe or uh, but yeah, it's kind Yeah. of like that, you know. Okay. So <laughs> Heavy. uh, <laughs> so <laughs> That yeah, is heavy. <laughs> I'm not I'm not the 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 the, the smooth talk type, you know. No, no, It's no. This it's is a real talk. This is a real talk talk. it's uh, yeah it's uh, it's re But resembles yeah. uh, identities with my music so. It's it's like it's like that in your face and uh, yeah it's kind of kind of like that yeah Yeah, yeah but it's also quite, um, I mean, like, 
just in general, I feel like everybody, like even with everything happening in Palestine with people being like, oh yes, the justice system and justice will prevail and we're going to get the right. And it's just like, we all need to uh, like all be very realistic about the reality of the world and how the world works. And just like, everybody's like, yeah, you know, racism was in the past. Things are better now. And it's just like, no, I don't know. I don't know. And you know, it's, it's just, it's like, it's not hopeful, but it's also, it just is, it is what it is. Yeah. So. The thing, the thing is that the people that, that say that, oh, no, there's no more racism. No, yeah. no. It's I a, don't see color. I mean, <laughs> yeah. I mean, racism is not, is not a, is not rain or sun. I mean, it's, it's, it's a structural yeah. thing, you know, it's a exactly. way of. Uh, is a way of thinking. I mean, I mean the, the whole structure is based on racist values. So, yeah. I mean, uh, it's quite diluted, but it's still there. I mean, yeah. yeah. And, uh, people, and there's subtle I mean, things. It doesn't have to be like someone walking yeah, around like a swastika. It course. can be so many different things too. Of course, yes. Yeah. I mean, the racism that doesn't have to, to beat on your door. I mean, yeah. you don't have to be calling a, a nigger, a nigger, mm -hmm. a preto, a, a, on the streets. And there's mm -hmm. still a bit of... It's still there, you know. It's 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 there. I mean, you have to. We have to talk about yeah. it, you know. Yeah. 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 It's not the being a victim or something, you know. Mm -hmm. Because nowadays they always uh, the the westerns always call us oh, we're trying to be they pull the race card. No, yeah. we have to talk about We're it, a snowflake. Yeah, 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 yeah we have. To, yeah, yeah, we have to talk about it. It's not yeah. walking. It's not uh, snowflake. It's we have to talk about. Our parents didn't talk because. They 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 flew a war or they they trying to to mm -hmm. to, to make a, <laughs> survive and they, they have to shut the shut the, the, the mouth I mean it's it's, yeah. it's like that so we have the adventure with culture we have we have the social media we have to to talk about these things you know so yeah in Portugal we have a lot of immigration from different kinds you yeah. know the Brazilian even the the but Nepalese, mm -hmm. you know, India, and 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 the extreme right is like like the the alt right is 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 like uh, uh, going for uh, those uh, those immigrants now. And now the thing it, this it's 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 very sad to see that uh, uh, the generation of my parents, you know, are now uh discriminating the immigrants that that uh, are doing the same that uh, mm. my parents did or uh, it's it's quite it's crazy man you know yeah it's crazy there's, there's a there's a not yeah. funny joke where it says there's nothing that an immigrant hates more than other immigrants in a country yeah it's a very yeah, bad joke yeah. but it's kind of true yeah 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 <laughs> so uh now from a week ago like it was a, a new elections for for the prime minister and uh so, mm -hmm form a new government and the like the the extreme uh, the fascist uh, party here mm -hmm. against the immigrants and everything uh want to privatize everything and they like they are the the now the one of the biggest uh, political forces in portugal and uh they was uh, <laughs> they was like uh like quite quite the same with the second political party Mm -hmm. it, and the second political party is more on the center left, you know, mm -hmm. and they were they were waiting for the the votes from immigrants living in France, England, uh, in Europe. Oh, and the the, <laughs> the right, they, they, the immigrants, the immigrants uh, uh, voted on the, the right wing guy, like the alt wing, like whoo, smoking. Yeah, man. I mean, uh, the Portuguese, the immigrant Portuguese in France, that was like uh, uh, hardworking and uh, very. I mean, uh, they they the the French natives was like uh, against them at the beginning, mm -hmm. at the 80s, 70s, and they uh, and they made uh, like a survey in in France and uh, Marie Le Pen. I mean, the the, the national yeah. bitch. Sorry. Uh, the Portuguese wanted wanted uh, Marie Le Pen in the power because they are against uh, um, Marocan, Senegalese. Uh, She's wild. <laughs> this is crazy. So yeah, very, oh, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's crazy. I mean, yeah, yeah. We have a lot of content to 
to to uh, to make music about. You know, it's, yeah. it's everything is on, it works in cycles. So yeah. So then I'll take you to this question. So how do you um create music that's relevant to what's going on now like what's kind of I don't know if you have like a methodology of how you work on it like you said it's an anthropological project kind of <laughs> like how do you use your music as a message like for what's going on in in this day and age is it something you don't well I know that you do but like it's like mm -hmm. yeah how does that work for you yeah um, I mean yeah I always um, uh, I absorb everything from my surroundings I mean same as any artist, you know, but uh, yeah, I, I don't know. Um, nowadays, I try not to be so obvious on my art, you know, because mm. I, I I just, I I have two albums and I felt like uh, my political views are kind of, uh, not compromising, but are kind of like um, get away in my creative process, you know. Right. So I try to be a, a little more subtle. I mean, it's mm. it's quite a hard message, you know, a quite mm -hmm. subtle, just to to be more poetic, mm -hmm. more, uh, yeah, not so. Even so, that the sonority is uh, quite uh, on your face, you know, but uh, I have I have to have some space to breathe the message in the to work on the message more mm -hmm. arty, you know, just. Not just that uh, political Not stuff. Not in your face, kind of. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. Kind of that, but uh, yeah. I mean, on uh, from uh, my sound, my soundscape, my sound uh, archive. I mean, I I travel around. I mean, my my uh, my box is like industrial stuff, you know, mm -hmm. uh, dark stuff, music like. Uh, Hard stuff, electronics. Yeah, I, I move uh, around that uh, that mm -hmm. universe. You know, it's uh, lo-fi. I mean, you know, with poetics. With uh, I mean, uh, I was uh, writing. I don't write lyrics or from uh, one 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 just one uh, way. Or uh, I just uh, run a few notes uh, from my surroundings. I mean. And uh, and then uh, when it's time to to really uh, create or compose in music, I'm I'm delivering the 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 thoughts that uh, yeah kind of uh, it's my own my 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 own unique uh, for me. I mean it works. I don't I don't care about rhymes, about metrics, flows. Mm -hmm. It's uh, it's another it's another thing that's worked yeah. for me. I'm, my workflow like your yeah. sound is your sound <laughs> yeah you yeah. follow any kind of methodology i guess is what yeah is what i'm hearing yeah kind of yeah kind of yeah yeah um so if you had to say there's like a couple artists that kind of influence the sound that you have now who would you say would be like artists that would do that nowadays uh, probably god flesh from birmingham you know the the dude uh it's like this uh, real a band from uh, from the eight from the eighties that help uh, defining the industrial metal, you okay. know, uh, really That's heavy nice. stuff, but with okay. electronics, uh, things like that. I mean, yeah, of course, the brothers. Yeah, was from the nineties, so it's uh, it's my band, you know. A couple of stuff. I don't nowadays. I don't. I'm not. Uh, I don't listen to to many music nowadays. Mm. I don't try to discover. I mean, uh, I was made by sampling. I mean, my my education, my musical education was from sampling and made me discover a lot of stuff, you know. Mm -hmm. But what sort of uh, thing you sample? Oh, uh, at the beginning it was basically it was uh, more into Cape Verdean music, you know, traditional roots Cape Verdean mm. music, and then. Uh, uh, then as I, I used to go to a lot of um, North African stuff, uh, Morocco stuff, you know, uh, even uh, Egyptian stuff. Mm -hmm. But then uh, I don't do that much <laughs> because uh, I'm I'm so fucking terrifying of uh, cultural appropriation. You know, I'm, I'm mm -hmm. that's is like a hardcore team for me. So mm -hmm. if I touch something, I have to really 
pay the dues I have, all with the respect, you know. I'm not uh, I'm not that guy that oh now I'm gonna do music with Japanese stuff, you know. So you're not gonna be Gwen Stefani. <laughs> no, 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 no. I think sampling is more and transform more than into a... the Harajuku. Yeah, it's what a time really... that was such a time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's really I'm I think sampling and making music is more than just an aesthetic, you know. Yeah. Sampling 100%. just for aesthetics is kind of uh yeah. I don't but I think there's also so much within one's culture that you can be inspired and also sample from. So it's really like yeah. no need. Like for myself, I feel like it's better to like just collaborate with artists from there to bring their sound into it versus like yeah. Unless yeah, it's like a very sure. like prolific political kind of speech that transcends kind of culture and everything yeah. and is more of a movement and an ideology then. But I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's funny that you say that because it's, that was what, what's exactly what I, uh, I, I was uh, listening to this, to this dude from Congo. Mm -hmm. Then we played in the same uh, festival. Uh, a couple of years ago, and his name is uh, Lova Lova, and he's he, okay. he's like a rock punk rock band from Congo, and he's wow, he okay, real harsh band. Yeah, we have to talk. Oh, but he, he only speaks in French. Yeah, okay, that's, that's uh, fine. <laughs> oh, cool. <laughs> um, and uh, I would, and I will, I, yeah, I start to listen to to his music. I love. It. It's like uh, an animal on stage, you know. Mm -hmm. and uh, the vocalist and um i was uh, about to sample some stuff from him and then come on man just let me network i sent him a message and yeah uh, you you will probably uh be in the the next album that i'm i'm currently awesome. working so yeah it's it's this, the, the the thing you know why mm -hmm. why to sample if i if i can have uh is contribute you know and yeah. we can establish some uh connection you know but uh yeah that but sounds like an amazing like that. band <laughs> yeah oh yeah i'm, I'm gonna send out. you the link yeah yeah yeah, yeah. They're, they're great man they're great they oof. nah yeah it's very cool man <laughs> I, very punk yeah i yeah. think that kind of organically takes us to the last segment of the show you're oh. sharing about this congolese punk band fucking We're right pass the mic part who are some bands, artists that you think people need to like pump into their ears? It can be Cape Verdean artists, it can be Angolan oh, artists, man. Congolese wow. punk rock bands. Who would you suggest wow. like two or three people? Oh Jesus. Oh <laughs> man, I have to I have to give it up to my, my brother Lover. Lover Lover. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna send you a link. You have to talk to him. Oh man, they are great. You, okay. you have you have like this cross between I mean Jacob de Vario from Kassaf with uh, grunt stuff. It's it's really unique. I really like uh, Diggy's uh, Diggy's style. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, oh, sorry, I have to give it up for my brothers, Shameless from Sueto uh, in Johannesburg. Okay. You have to talk to him. Shameless is a power trio, really mm -hmm. punk stuff. They are fucking yeah, uh, yeah. I I have. Um, I, I record some some uh, I let let some vocals uh, for a, a remix from them. Yeah, you have to talk to them. They, they are great. They are great. Okay. Sueto dudes, man. I mean, Sueto have a lot of lot of rock bands. You have to really, yeah, really, yeah. Don't make me they have this slide there right now. <laughs> they they can do a Afro punk uh, point three in Johannesburg in Sueto. A really? lot of art. I, I was amazed. Yeah, I was I was amazed with uh, the 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 yeah the the art there is very 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 big man. They are yeah okay. shameless and love. I know I know about this. Botswana. I mean I know South Africa in general has a really big rock scene, but I haven't heard specifically yeah. about like rock from Soweto. So I'm gonna definitely yeah. There's dive into that. there's a couple of uh, yeah even. Uh, the dudes from Nyenga Tapes, how they call the Duma. They are like this Duma, really, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, this drone stuff with uh, mm -hmm. touching black metal stuff. You know, they are a duo. They are crazy also. Yeah. 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 I, I've connected with them. Yeah. Definitely, ah, cool. Definitely need cool, to be cool, 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 cool. They're from Uganda, actually, I think. Yeah. I think. Yeah. yeah. I know they're East Africa somewhere up there. Yeah. Well, yeah. 
Thank you for sharing those bands. I'm definitely going to link everybody. As you know, those bands will be in the description below the video. Unfortunately, this is the end of the episode. Oh, this is the end. This is the end. Do you have my any final message? Friend. Oh, man. I just want to unite my all Africans, queens and kings, man. I mean, we have to get outside the box urgently. Mm. I mean, we have we don't have just to to be on the, the same mainstream path. We mm, don't need to, absolutely. We don't need to compare ourselves to like Western industry, in the music, in Hollywood. We have to do ourselves. We don't have to to like kill each other from the crumbs. I mean, yeah. we have the potential. It's crazy. All the potential, all the creativity that we have. We don't have Afrobeat is perfect. Yeah, cool, but we can we can diversify. Go, uh, we have so yeah, much to diversify for all my people. Yeah, man. Yeah, we have to. We have to. We have we we don't have to be stuck on the, the same predictable place that they want us to be. Mm. Come on, man. Yeah. Serves let's the let's diversify. Yeah. <laughs> thank you so much for those words, yeah. everybody. Thank you. The end of our shows keep turning into motivated motivational speeches, and I love that. I love that for the viewers. <laughs> I'll be sending yeah. you speeches for the free therapy, everybody. But thank you so much for joining thank us. You. On episode thank you. Thank you for Back having me. Mike. Thank you for having me. Thank it was you a so pleasure. So much. Ciao, everybody. See you next episode. See you.